Hello, 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 everybody. Brian here, Quantlabs.net, 1230 a.m., uh, well, Monday, 1230, July 11th, Eastern Standard Time. Today, I'm going to talk about our first venture into the world of ETFs. This is ETF only. We're using uh, MotorWave, the trading platform, and running uh, behind that is the interactive TFU. T Interactive Brokers TWS Trader Workstation, and that's all configured to a live uh, trading account. So I'm not going to be able to show you my uh, trading account. I just don't need people to see my account name, so I won't show you the TWS piece. But uh, I'll gladly show you the good old um, MotoWave. So let's go over to MotoWave here. So here's MotoWave. Um, in here, you, I've got. Um, Typical up to 50 assets this is a live trading account, so it's not simulated. And I've tried to mimic what I had with OANDA data as close as I can, but these are using all nothing but um, uh, ETFs with about 46 of them, close to that. Or I want to say between 40 and 45 ETFs. I'm going to add more once I get my data subscription because I need it. Uh, they allow, I think, up to 50 or a hundred, um, just trying to figure that out. But 50 seems to be the maximum you can do for free uh, with um, platform like third party platform like MotoWave and connect it into TBS. And then it starts nagging about you need to get a subscription. Fine. Now, um, let's look at uh, what we got here. So, in here we've got our. Um, uh, Harmonic patterns I'm using to do a first wave of this, and um, a couple of notes I want to show you here. Uh, we have excellent, and very good. So we've got excellent, very good here, and right here at the bottom, just for those crypto fans, the very last one is the Grayscale BTC uh, Trust, which is under the pink sheet. So if you do a search for uh, and Google, let's say, cryptocurrency products offered by IBKR. Uh, this is what I'm referring to right here. The uh, grayscale, all these I've added. Um, so the only one so far uh, that will get looked at is the GBTC, which is the grayscale Bitcoin investment trust found on the pink sheets. If you've not been following along, uh, the SEC has, has, has rejected multiple times the grayscale to turn this into an ETF. So now they're going into a lawsuit, but for now it's in a pink sheet, but it's a significant um, uh, instrument, 20 billion, so it's not small. Now that's the crypto, so the only one so far out of that is um, with, uh, with crypto, and namely the big one. But in here you can see I've got a bunch of them the only one that is consistently maybe potential moving up, this one right here, this is China. Um, this is an MCI, MSCI, I believe. Um, I'm gonna be showing more uh, detailed lessons on how to get around this. So if I look up um, MCHI, that's the stock right here, MCHI, and then you also have the MHCI, uh, ETF, which again is just that an ETF, uh, so we can find out more information here about it. Interactive brokers and the TWS is a pretty good utility that I've discovered regarding that. And uh, so right now, this is the, the iShares MSCI China ETF, the only one that seems to be moving somewhat in a positive direction right here, and then else is down. Uh, for those that want to see something like uh, the GBTC, this is now again, I also need to highlight here, this is a one day view. So you can see it's in solid decline. You might get some um, upward momentum here, but uh, you know, it's really, it's not looking good. Uh, let's just random ones, we, uh, big move there. Uh, UNG, which is uh, <clears throat> natural gas and so on, okay? Uh, we I have in here uh, as well, 
U.S. indices, global indices, through the MSCI, and so on. So that's the view. Uh, we are making headway. Um, I one thing I will say about ETFs, you can also at, at a later time get um, uh, real estate, municipal, municipal bonds. You can compare all these ETFs into one view, including, as I said, with the crypto as well. So you can see how everything performs against each other. And uh, you can see here, these solid run-ups are what you want to see. And uh, everything's either in decline or gone. Super volatile here. As you can see, it's gone flat. Very similar to, um, to crypto as well. Very few opportunities, but as I said, the only one I might would do is this one, MCHI. But again, that's uh, with China related. It's really a China, uh, sorry, a virus play. I just read how a lot of the Macau casinos are closing down because of the virus outbreak, the latest one. So again, this could decline. So that's one of the only problems here. But so far, um, best I can do, uh, this one, Joe is coffee, as an example, but it's gone flat. But again, the opportunities is all along here, but I don't know why it's either flat or, de or declining with all of these instruments or ETFs. It could be the summer, I don't know. Um, but so far as I've gone through, not a lot of opportunity there right now. But again, uh, I can add in the Forex as well, uh, as uh, I might do later on in the week. But right now I'm just focusing on ETFs with Interactive brokers. Another big thing I do like using this is almost a thousand ETFs to choose from. So uh, that's pretty pretty strong. There are some that are cushion free as well, but those are really really niche kind of um, ETFs. So for now, that's what I'm seeing. Not again, not a lot of opportunity. If you like what you're seeing here, just join us at quantlabs.net/banking. I'll be changing this uh, promotion as well fairly soon to update it. Um, so we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.